Hi Jill, this is Belinda from Belinda Lee Briggs Web Design. I'm just going to walk you through the changes we made to your website, review those with you, and then show you how to actually maintain some of the elements um, that were adjusted. A quick overview of what we did was to create a new teacher page function that enabled you to feature um, the teacher bios in um, a space where all the pictures looked very nice regardless of the different um, formats and styles that they were shot under. We also looked at SEO optimization on your home and teacher training pages and I took that a little further into the teacher bios as well and I will walk you through that as we go. Um, we also activated your .com domain um, during our call last time um, and so now both your .org and .com domains will serve over to your .com. Um, and then I set up Google Analytics and Google Search Console. And then at the end of everything, once I'd done all the search engine optimization work on the site, I actually submitted a new site map so that it would get Google to look at those changes we made for you more quickly. I also will say um, that for future search engine information, particularly relevant to Squarespace, there's an article on my blog that I'm going to share to you, but you just want to refer back to that in the future as you're working on your site to keep those um, activities and things in mind to keep your SEO in great shape because it is an ongoing work. Okay, so we will um, start with the simple stuff, which will be the search engine optimization. And so what I did actually initially was I came into marketing and I came into search engine optimization and there wasn't anything written in here yet. So based upon information that you had um, already on your site, I crafted a site description that pulls in both your target keywords and um, things that are really important for keyword searching like um, area and neighborhood. And then of course, if someone's looking for a best of, you do have those accolades and it's great to bring those to awareness. And the other way that the site description functions is to actually hook your readers in and get them to want to click through to your site. And so um, by indicating that you're, you're um, catering to all, well, all levels and then a welcoming message asking them to join, those all work to that function. Um, your title actually comes in from your site name and that um, actually just said element when I looked at your site originally. So under design and logo and title, I just changed um, the site title to indicate your name and then Raleigh. And although tagline doesn't always get pulled, you never know when something's going to begin to be utilized by Google. It's really hard to guess. So it's best just to provide that information. Um, in here. So I did put in there the kind of two target areas and your location as well. And so site title is pulled in all over the place on your site um, for page names and page name displays. And so having that with the location in there is a, a great use of that space. And I guess I had an extra space in there. Okay. So that's search engine optimization from a site perspective, when we go in on the particular pages and we look at what is your home page, and we can tell that because it's got that high house icon there, and we look at those settings and click over to SEO, what actually happens here is that this information um, is pulled in from those website SEO settings. Now that's only on the home page. So by making those adjustments, we did optimize the home page. But I also did some other things. A really powerful way to um, build up your search engine um, credibility with Google is to provide services to your readers. And one of the ways to do that is to provide links off site that connect you to other um, high power or useful sites. And so I added a line. I also fixed this background. There was some bad CSS code. Someone had put a script into your custom CSS um, and it looked like you were originally trying to have the background be all this color. So I actually went in and fixed that in my travels. Um, what I did was I pulled your Indie Best um, logos and put them on the bottom of your homepage and also you register yoga school. This gives you great high level links. I linked the images um, to these specific areas on their websites. Um, but these links give you a lot of clout. Google says, great, she's connected. And Google really likes that. Um, 
and then I actually just changed the coloring on the logos to be a grayscale um, because they were really bright and colorful and we don't necessarily these are here more for Google I mean they're great for credibility for anyone who's coming in and doesn't know you to see that um, you've got a lot of um, recognition in the community those are great things but the coloring was really off for your website and it really diminished the really beautiful yoga alliance logo so i brought them down to grayscale those can certainly be swapped back out to the brighter colors if you prefer that but having these links here definitely really helps with your search engine optimization okay so oh and i would actually hyperlink this to maps they would actually provide you another link off site and I'll actually show you how to do that real quick. So we're just going to, um, I'm gonna copy this and we're gonna come over and we're just gonna say element hot yoga. And we're gonna come in maps. And you did you see your, your um, information came up quickly. Okay, so this is great. So we're gonna copy this link right here and we're gonna go back in here and this is a great service to anyone who is on their phone and is like, oh my gosh, I can't find the studio. By putting this in here, we're helping them find your studio, which is fabulous. And we're also adding one more of those high value links um, connecting your website to other places. Okay, perfect. So that is the SEO on the home page. The other SEO we wanted to do was on the teacher training pages. Um, and so, <laughs> sorry, it doesn't... Google doesn't like that, or not Google, but uh, Squarespace isn't like that when I'm trying to navigate around the page. So I'm gonna show you two things. Rather than having two teacher training pages, I actually just put a link in this about folder that creates that dropdown, and so it actually links to the real teacher training page. Okay, so the teacher training page, which truly lives under the events page, um, one of the first things I did there was to change the URL slug. Um, these tend to have a lot of weight right now for search engine purposes because they, Google figures if you're going to put your keywords into the URL slug, they um, really must be what this page is about. Um, page title is also really important and over on the SEO tab, you can actually see um, it's now pulling in that site title that we set up and it's also got yoga teacher, yoga teacher training, Raleigh. And then again, I just crafted a description. Google says they don't index this information. It's really meant just for a hook for the reader, but it's always good um, to make sure you got your keywords in there. So I try to include things, um, make it a hookable read for the user who's going to see this and say, yes, this is where I wanna go when they've gotten on the Google search result page. But I've also tried to include um, key information and obviously I only had four characters left I ran out of space we'll put dot 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 so someone knows to keep reading um, there we go okay and so those that was the search engine optimization that I did kind of on the back end the other thing I did is heading one two and three you should have a heading one formatted element on every page, just one. That lets Google know what this page is about. So I would actually change this title to say yoga teacher training, even though it seems like it's um, redundant to you, to Google it's really important. So I might put that in there. You can take it off if it really bothers you. It's always kind of a juggle between what looks good from a design perspective and what looks good from a search engine or, or um, and then the user's perspective is somewhere in between there. But anyway, that's something to think about. So we've used our one header one in here, which is great. And now what I've done for search engine optimization is I've actually sprinkled some meaningful heading descriptions. So this is a heading three. We could actually make it a heading two. That might be better. So now um, Google knows this is pretty important on this page. And then I um, slid everything over to the left just from a design perspective. It's far easier for people to read with things that are left aligned. Everything was centered. And so some of these things were making a, a weird diamond shape. And so I just for consistency, I moved everything over to the left. Um, I bolded this area. I created a link to Caitlin's um, bio here, which is great. You want to have linking in between pages on your website. And this provides you some of that. 
And then this will actually open up someone's um, mail client to make it easier to mail her and actually populates their um, title of their email or the subject of their email to indicate that they're interested in the Element Hot Yoga teacher training. And then I just put a little space here to give us some breathing room design-wise. Um, but the big SEO things were ensuring that we're using that heading formatting to actually highlight words that may that will let Google know what this page is about so that they present you properly in search results was what's important. Now I know <coughs> session dates, hours, costs, those really aren't important for SEO. However, that's when we make the trade-off and say, say, well, from a design perspective, it was important to have these highlighted. So we applied um, those headings there. Um, so um, I would leave that as, as you set it up. I would leave it just because we do need those visual cues. Okay, the other thing I did was I did add this image as a link, but I also drew it down because it's, while it's important, it's not the main thing. And then I linked your video up here. Um, it's beautiful insight into what you do and you're right, that, that is definitely um, something that belongs at the top here. I did try to put it in your banner, but the volume didn't play. And as I watched the video, I realized that um, hearing the words of the video are really critical for someone coming in and deciding if your training program is going to be a match for them. Okay, so that is um, search engine optimization. Okay, now we're going to move on to the Our Team. So the Our Team page now has a teacher section and all of the images take about I think 35 to 40 percent um, they all take the same percentage of space up with the text so it gives you that nice consistent um, look across the board even though everybody's picture kind of has a slightly different aesthetic to it and I also broke up the profiles into staff profiles and into teacher profiles and then for every person, what's what's really great is when you click read more, it brings you to their personal bio. And then their image is actually going to be able to be formatted in something that matches the image as they uploaded it. So even though maybe they're um, getting cropped out on the other page, this page really lets the beauty of their image show through. Again, now this is where I talked about search engine optimization. Again, on these, um, I did do some linking. I just tried to think about if I was reading this and wanted to know about more about this teacher or some of the things on here, what would I want to know? And you can certainly change these, but I highly recommend um, that for search engine optimization purposes and to make your site look like more of an authority that you do provide off-site links. And it is totally okay to link to an off-site um, yoga place because people who want to come people who want to do yoga in Raleigh want to do yoga in Raleigh um, they might think well next time I'm in Wilmington maybe I'll check out this other place but it's worth the value of the search engine optimization credit that you're getting by having these off links off-site links so you'll see I have put some off-site links in other areas and then and once someone gets in here they can actually scroll through all of the profiles which is kind of neat also um, so let's talk about how this is managed. So the um, Our Team page that's got all the profiles pulled into it is right here. And if I edit it, you can see you've got just a text block with that, our teachers. And again, we're, we're taking advantage of that heading to, I mean, maybe you'd want to say our yoga teachers for search engine optimization, but it's redundant. And so I wouldn't recommend that here. So what you'll notice here, this is a summary block and it's pointing to the team directory to get its data. And I have it set up in a list and all the images are set to square and they are 40%. And we've got the consistency in text because we've set it to set a text size of large and alignment on left on all of these items. And um, I'm telling it, hopefully you don't get more of a 30 30 for your staff because that is a limitation here on these summary blocks. Um, and the big thing is that it's filtering and only showing people who have bios that are tagged with a category of teacher. So if we come down here and we look in the our staff section, you'll notice that Chris threw me off a little bit, but I realized he's a staff guy. Um, so the big difference down here 
Oop, let's do 30 here as well, just in case you get really big or open another office. But you'll notice that there, um, this section pulls in people who have a um, category selected of staff. So let me show you how that, so you don't need to do anything to this page. All you need to do is come down here to team directory. I saved your old pages. You can delete these when you're ready. Um, to add a new staff bio, you come to the team directory. Let's go back out and do that again slow. The team directory is down here and not linked. There it is. Um, I'm going to show, quickly show you search engine optimization. I don't have much in here. I think I should fill it out. Uh, let's see. Yoga teachers and staff. And then um, I think let's come to the art team page and see what we say. Oof, we don't say too much. Um, but you could just type something in here so that if you don't type something into the SEO description, Google decides what to do um, for information in there. And so better for us to control it. So let's say meet the staff and teachers of Element Hot Yoga located in Raleigh. Let's see. We provide a variety of yoga classes as well as RYS 200 yoga teacher training. There we go. It's just good to have it in there. The other thing I'll show you when um, while we're in here is that you can actually manage your categories in here. So you can actually um, edit them and it will edit if you change this it will edit anybody who's marked as staff so say you decide I don't want to call people teacher I want to call them um, instructor you can just come in here and edit and change the name from teacher to instructor and it will change it across everybody and that way it kind of this is the best really clean way to do that the other thing is I tagged a bunch of people because tags are used by Google for search engine optimization. And they also let people, um, when people are searching for these words on your site, it will pull in um, instructors that match, even if they only have an interest in this area. It's just a really nice um, function available for people who want to search. And again, Google does look at it. So just one more thing. Okay, I'm going to save so we don't lose that search engine optimization. Okay, so this is what the page looks like should somebody stumble on it. Um, I was going to change the layout because I don't like this centered, but then I realized that you're over here um, using this testimonial section, and so I didn't want to do anything that was going to influence your testimonial layout. So just know that if you change the layout for one um, blog, it will change the layout appearance for the other blog, but what it will not do is affect this R team page. So um, don't worry about that too much. And again, somebody could stumble upon the, te the team directory, but we've done a lot of work to um, provide them other ways in here. And it doesn't look too bad. It's kind of cute. Okay, so the way it works is the person who has the most recent publishing date will appear first. And um, the person with the oldest publishing date will appear last. That's how they are sorted. And you can see that on um, the teacher, the, our team and page is that, so they're sorted by their category, but then they're sorted by that publishing date. So if you go to add a new teacher today, what will happen if you don't fix their publishing date is they'll end up here on top of Caitlin. To um, avoid that, what you will do when you publish them is once you've published them, you actually just come back in here and change this date to a date earlier in the calendar. And so I spaced out the days that these are all published in case you want um, to stick people inside. I mean, it's even controlled by the time. So even if the person was one minute earlier or later, that would all um, come into how they're sorted. Okay, so let's, when you're ready to add a new staff person, what you'll do what I would do is I would find someone who I know is um, similar to the person I'm bringing in. So if they're going to be staff, I would choose a staff profile to duplicate to build their profile off of. If they're a teacher, 
um, I would choose a teacher profile that kind of matches um, what types of yoga they would be working in because what it does is it lets you, um, if you pick someone that has 40 tags and the person that you're um, going to create only has one tag, you're going to have to delete all 40 tags. So something to think about. So we've got Shannon here and say we want to create a new instructor. We would say duplicate. Okay. And then we're going to start building out their information. So for the title, you're going to put their first name. Um, Joe Jones. And then right here, you're going to um, type in kind of their title is what I've been putting in here. And then the training so just that same top line. And then you're going to paste their profile in here and obviously add a couple links. That's pretty easy. And then you will delete the image that's in here and then you will upload a new image. So we could delete this and we could just pull in a new image. Now the really important thing is to make sure that this focal point image thing is right between their eyes on their nose. When someone views a page on their phone versus viewing it on a large um, laptop or something with a larger screen, the image size is going to shrink and possibly get cropped. And so this circle says, hey, make sure you keep this part in the middle. Okay, if you've named your file very nicely, which I did for all of these, this adds some SEO value. And then I actually have added captions to make your site oop, even more user friendly. So you will want to come down and just edit the captions so it has the new person's name and their information. All of these lend toward good, valuable SEO. And then you'll come back in here and you'll say, do not display caption, and you will apply. Okay, so you've got this page all set with the right image. Then I would actually copy their, their name, come to options, and you're gonna copy their name in here, or paste their name in here over the old person's name. Joe Jones, oh. Joe Jones, and the dashes are great. Google sees them as spaces. It lets them recognize each individual word. And if he's not a yoga teacher, if he's something else, you'll put that there. And then what I did was I, this is the part that shows on the Our Team page. These pieces of information actually come from the excerpt. They do not come from the content page. So what you want to do is you actually want to go back to the content page and you may find that the first paragraph isn't really what you want displayed on the other page. It may be something else. You might want to just craft something a little different, but put that together and put it in here. I limited everybody to four lines for consistency. So um, three to four lines for each person will get you that nice consistent look um, for every person on the page. See how they're nice and consistent. Lots of white space for resting our eyes and maintaining calm. Okay. Once you've done that, oops, we don't want to click featured post. You need to make sure you change their thumbnail image too, because the thumbnail image is what appears again on that teacher training page. So you want to make sure the thumbnail image matches and that their focal point is in the right place. Then you want to come to the SEO tab and look at it has this old person's thing in there because it's pulling the old thing. So I'm going to say Joe Jones and I'm going to say yoga teacher. Now this is very consistent with all of the other pages, which is great. And then this is that hook part. And all I did was um, copied not this title thing, but this part from down here. Copy that paste it into SEO. The last thing I'll show you is that for each one of these, the location is set to your studio, which is another great search engine optimization thing. And then you're going to save and publish. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come in and you're actually going to change that publishing date so he shows up in the list where you want him. So um, let's see. I want him. Hmm. I want him between Connor and Lauren. So that means I need to go somewhere between October 14th and October 11th. So I'm going to publish him on October 12th. 
So let's do that. Nope, wrong way. And if you already had someone on October 12th, you just adjust the time to be appropriate. So you can do that. And now, if we reload this page, we'll see that there he is. Joe Jones between Connor and Lauren. Okay. So what I'm actually going to do is delete Joe Jones because we don't want him out there. So that is how you would maintain your staff directory. Don't worry about that craziness. I'm not sure why I'm looking like that. Okay. Okay, woof, the scheduling came off. Okay, so that is it, your site has been optimized for a search engine on your home page across your site in general your teacher training pages and then um, in your staff bios as well and that is it if you have any questions please don't hesitate to reach out to me I'm, i apologize for the length of this video um, I, down in the um, description section of the video I will add little chapter links so um, it will be you'll be able to jump to the part of the video that talks about adding teacher bios that way you don't have to rewatch the whole video every time you want to do something thanks so much